Hey there. So, let's say you got yourself a nice six-pack of Sonoffs and you excitedly tear into them, ready to flash Tasmoda. And you get this. Now, if you're like me, you've had a few of these before, and you know this is not what it usually looks like. So, if we look under the cover here, this actually says it's a Sonoff R2, RFR2 Power version 1. Now, the interesting thing is that it's not. Um, there's no antenna, uh, like there's no RF antenna on here like there is on the, the RF powers that I've seen um, and it's not an ESP8266 it's an ESP8250 so um, that means a couple of things the first is there's no GPIO 14 um, so, if you're planning on putting this in switch mode, you're going to have to get a little extra tricky. Um, the bright side is, you can totally flash this. So, I just put myself together a nice little set of headers. Um, that I can that I can stick in these things and uh, and go ahead and get the, the flash going. The only really weird thing is that to enable flash mode you have to press the, the button like usual um, but you also have to bridge these two pads right here. Now I didn't bother to and see if you could temporarily bridge them. Um, I just solder bridged them during the, the course of flashing and cleared the solder bridge after I was done. Um, now, if you want to put this thing in switch mode, what you're going to have to do, and what, by what I mean by switch mode is if you're going to put this in like a, a light switch box with a um, toggle switch, um, if you want to just use the um, standard on-off toggle, you can actually use uh, and ground the, the key. Um, you put a button in between key and ground and that will um, do the same thing as pressing this button, but as uh, you may or may not know, that means that, um, you know, it gives whoever has access to that button, that external button, um, to put this into programming mode. So you may not want that. Um, if you want to use uh, a switch on here, what you have to do is actually this. Sorry, let me try and get in here. This corner pin right down here is GPIO4. You may notice that it doesn't go anywhere. So here is what it looks like if you solder on a pin or a, a lead right there and try not to get GPIO0 which is right next to it bridged. Anyways, um, that pretty much sums up what I've uh, discovered with these things. Uh, I'd much rather have the, the regular Sonoff Basic. Um, as I dig in here, I, I'm curious to see if there's uh, anything like the any of the RF um, chipset actually still on here. If I could just solder an antenna on there and... Uh, um, get RF capabilities out of it, but I'm not planning on using it for that, so uh, I'd just much rather have the originals. Um, but hopefully this video helps somebody out, um, saves some time. Um,
it's definitely possible to use these for light switches. It's just extra tricky. So good luck everybody and happy hacking.